Hi, I'm Dr. Cheryl Fraser, and I need you to kill the soulmate. What? Yes, I do. The soulmate myth is the number one problem influencing your relationship and whether you're happy or not. Remember, we're going to do the top five couples problems in these videos and a tool to help you avoid each one or fix it if it's bedeviling your relationship. So what's the soulmate? The soulmate is the fictional person who has all the perfect qualities that you need and desire in a mate and they do not exist. I'm sorry, if the soulmate existed, I'd be married to Sean Cassidy because when I was a little girl, I was completely convinced he was gonna come and sweep me off my feet and make me the happiest little girl, grown up woman, whatever in the whole world. It didn't happen. A real relationship will die under the weight of your expectations. If you believe there's someone better out there, you're never going to be happy with the person you're with. Here's a simple tool I want to share with you to help you with the problem of the fictional soulmate. I call it the top 10 list. I want you to go write down everything you can think of that you want in a partner, including the one you're already with, but for now this is fictional, everything you want. They need to be warm and compassionate. They need to be a creative lover, maybe. You want them to be a great parent or to be interested in having children. Someone with a sense of humor. Someone that loves skiing the way you do. Whatever the things are that you want, make the first list lots and lots and lots of items. There might be 30, 50 things on your what I want in an ideal partner list. Then I want you to get real, get serious, and get you know down with yourself and turn that into your top 10 things you need and want and value that are incredibly important to you to get in your relationship. Okay? When you've got your top 10 list, I'm going to tell you, you're never going to find a 10 out of 10 partner. That's the mythical soulmate. They don't exist. They live in the enchanted forest next to the unicorn and the gnome and apparently Sean Cassidy. So what I want you to do is realize that there are a number of fantastic human beings you could be happy with for your life and create the ultimate, terrific, amazing, passionate relationship that so few of us cultivate, but I'm here to teach you how to do it. And the person you're with is going to have approximately seven out of 10 of the qualities you need and want and desire in a mate. If you focus on the three that are missing, you'll be miserable. If you focus on the seven this beautiful human being brings to the, to the table, brings to the party between you and them, you can kill the soulmate and be happy and deeply connected to the person you're with. I don't mean to make this sound simple. If it was simple, you'd all be wildly in love with the person you're with all the time. That's not the way real love works. Real love takes some effort, some mindfulness, some tools and techniques. So here's your first one. Kill the soulmate. Make that list. Narrow it down to your top 10 things you want and then realize you'll get approximately seven of them in the marvelous person you're walking through life with right now. Change your mind, not your mate, and you can be happy moment to moment because remember, love is a choice. It's a choice we make over and over in our relationship. And I look forward to sharing with you in the next video, the second major problem. The soulmate myth is the first. The second major problem, how you deal with conflict. Do you always think you're right? Stay tuned for a tool on how to stop making that mistake. I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us here in a video love bite.